The masked Southampton superhero's plight has gone viral on social media. Solent residents have been left wondering why the crusader has taken over a city centre bridge. In an exclusive TV interview, father of three, Nicky Hughes, tells that Solent about his campaign to protect a loved one. Del McEwen reports. Day three on a Southampton bridge. Members of the public are now joining Batman's plight, a.k.a. Nicky Hughes from campaign group New Fathers for Justice. The reason why I'm using the siren is because I don't want to cause a public order. By law, if I'm effing and blinding off a bridge and swearing, as anyone could see, I'm causing a nuisance to children walking past. I don't want to be swearing around children, members of the public. I'm, I'm a law-abiding citizen. I respect people within the community that respect me. I, I'm not here to cause a nuisance. I'm here to get the word out about the, the local authorities and the local government trying to put this case under the water and not publicise it. Nicky's from the South West but has taken his campaign to Southampton because he has friends here. The former PE teacher tells us he's trying to protect a member of his family. I'm originally from Bristol. Um, I lived in Bristol. I had problems in Bristol um, after threats from another part of someone else's family that's causing problems for my member of the family. Um, the police authorities deemed it unfit for me to live in the area so I had to leave the area. Over the several months, I've been to several destinations around the southwest. Um, keep on having police interference coming up to me, uh, police coming up to me, telling me that they've got information of my life in danger. And now it's come to the point I've had to come all the way down to Southampton to stay at a friend's, and that's wh why I'm here in Southampton. That Solent can't reveal exact details of Nicky's case for legal reasons, but the dad tells us he has evidence to prove a member of his family is at risk. Local resident Matthew is now lending his support. I think it's quite important because obviously there's a lot more people in his position and um, to try and get the message out to try and show that obviously it's, it's wrong for what's going on and that it needs to be heard. Being on his own it's, it's quite hard uh, so he uh, obviously needs the support so I thought if I come along and show my support, it's going to get more people involved to come along and help as well. As you already know, um, there's local support coming around and this individual actually turned up, not knowing myself um, personally or over any social media. Um, he's seen the social publicity and thought that he, he would come up and support myself because he believes that it's the best thing for the interest of the public to see that someone needs to open their eyes and deal with this matter. Nicky wants Bristol Social Services to take action. That Solent has contacted the authority for a statement. A spokesperson says, as with any case involving social services, we cannot discuss individual circumstances. If someone has a concern for the health and well-being of a child, we strongly recommend they make contact with the council at the earliest possible opportunity. Hampshire police understand Nicky is on the bridge just to demonstrate and isn't causing public harm. Nicky says passers-by have shown interest in his campaign. He says this is the only way to get his message heard and will stay on the bridge for the rest of his life if need be. Dale McEwen, that's Solent.